Hello YouTube, it's Q Dragon, and welcome to this week's episode of Brainstorm, where we give you a glimpse into the world of science. Our top story comes from the world of biotechnology. At a TED and NASA event, Craig Venter discussed the potential application of synthetic biology in colonizing Mars. Venter and his team are most known for creating the first organism with a synthetic genome back in 2010. Now his team is working on synthetic algae that can convert CO2 and other basic materials into a usable fuel. Venter hopes these kinds of organisms could also be used to create food, plastics, and other materials. And while this technology is going to be very important for Earth's growing population, it could also be useful for human trips to Mars. With Mars having a thin, mostly CO2 atmosphere, synthetic organisms could be an essential source of materials and make Mars colonization more viable. An international research team has discovered a new material, super dense aluminum. Super dense materials are thought to exist in the Earth's core, but researchers have no way of studying them there. So they had to create the super dense aluminum by simulating the intense heat and pressure on a microscopic scale. The super dense phase actually causes the aluminum to have a compacted atomic structure, making it 40% denser and stronger. Hopefully other labs will create other super dense materials, such as gold and silver, to study the unique properties of this new phase. And some exciting news from the world of medicine Researchers have reported successful gene therapy for kids with severe combined immunodeficiency. Sometimes this is treated with a bone marrow transplant, but this leads to complications, such as finding a compatible donor and rejection. Previous attempts at gene therapy proved somewhat successful, however, they unfortunately caused leukemia in some patients. But a different virus vector is now being used, showing no signs of cancer. Someone with severe combined immunodeficiency can now have their bone marrow extracted, have the genetic error in their immune cells repaired, and then have those re-implanted thus restoring their immune system and allowing them to live a normal life. Our final story comes from the world of astronomy. NASA scientists have discovered the coldest kind of star-like body called a Y-class brown dwarf. Brown dwarfs are sometimes called failed stars because they don't contain enough mass to initiate nuclear fusion, but they still emit some energy in the form of infrared radiation. The coldest Y dwarf found was about 80 degrees Fahrenheit, and it's possible an even colder class of Z dwarfs could exist. There is even a Y dwarf nine light years from Earth. Scientists hope studying these star-like objects will give us new insight into stellar formation and even gas giant properties. Well, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please consider subscribing and be sure to check the links in the video description.